A gang of robbers broke into the girl's house. They kidnapped them. The woman secretly sent a message to her father asking for help when the robbers weren't looking. John found out and snuck down to the girl's basement. When he entered, he killed the two robbers. But John realized that his daughter had been abducted by a gangster. John had no choice but to put down his gun. Suddenly John's partner hits the gangster in the shoulder. John jumps on the gangster. There's no reason on earth that my wife could have anything to do with a scumbag like you. So who's behind us? It goes right to the top. The governor. The reserve order this head. Suddenly the gangster was shot dead. It was the sheriff who shot him. It turns out they've been making illegal deals with the mob. Suddenly John's partner rushed in and knocked out the sheriff's team. The sheriff had to surrender. John took the sheriff to the governor's house. The sheriff told John, because the mob bosses had video of the governor's son committing a crime. So they're also harboring gang crimes. Then John infiltrated the governor's villa. He killed the bodyguard. But suddenly, John was shot in the shoulder by the governor. You had my wife killed because she wouldn't cover up a report. Ah, oh, I used to be a bottom feeder like you, Stanley. At the critical moment, John pushed the governor's gun away. He stabbed him in the stomach. In the end, John was able to avenge his wife's death. At that moment, he was surrounded by the police. But John didn't hesitate to raise his shotgun. Luckily, John was wearing body armor. He was taken to the hospital. But then the sheriff's teammate sneaked in. He wanted to avenge the death of the sheriff. But the next moment, John's partner arrived just in time. Together, they killed the sheriff's team. Then they took the gangster's goods with them. They fled the hospital together.